Borada, and welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today I'm playing The Beast Inside once again. Uh, we've gone through the first two chapters already, so we're like two chapters in already, and it's currently it's pretty much exactly like the demo almost, just a few subtle differences. So from this point onwards, I've not played it. <laughs> I've not played any part, apart from whatever the chapter of the beta was, but we'll probably figure that out later on in the series. Um, we're on chapter 3, I can't remember what the name of this chapter is actually, unless it hasn't said it yet, but um, we need to go and find Emma, we need to go and show this diary to Emma I believe, and yes, so we need to go and find Emma on the first floor, we'll go and show the diary to Emma, because we were in the attic, and then somehow we moved into the child's bedroom, so yeah, or our bedroom, depending on what's going on, we eat that onto the floor. Well, the attic is still open, so that door's closed, that door's closed. Right, we'll close that door. Perfect. What's in here? What's up here? We can go back up here. Right, the paint bucket's gone. Probably Emma's taken it. Emma's supposed to be on the first floor somewhere. I haven't got a clue where though. I like the music though here. The music here is not too bad. It's pretty cool. Why is that door open? Okay. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma, can you hear me? Emma! I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what The power? The fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. Okay. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Why are you being so passive-aggressive? Why is she being so aggressive at, the, at this point? Emma, what is wrong with you? Come on, we're supposed to be good friends. Well, you're my wife. Come on. Right, we have to go to the basement. But I have a feeling this is going to be a What's bad problem. Thing. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> well, I don't know what's wrong with her, but we'll find out. Oh, that's... Uh... We don't have any matches either. Oh god, it goes really dark down there. Um, I don't trust this. <laughs> Only the flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe get I can a, find one in the attic. There's get a lot of a junk in there. Get a flashlight from the attic. Okay. Yeah, we need to get one really. We shouldn't be going down to a dark basement. Okay. It's not in any of these boxes, is it? It doesn't look like it is. What's in here? Why is there an axe Go on, off you go. Okay, <clears throat> it's not in there. We can just sort of walk on top of this for some reason. Okay, that's um, interesting. Right. Uh, I don't think we were meant to walk on top of that, were we? I'm trying to look for a flashlight. We need one. There, what's this? This is not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. Check the fuse box in the basement. So how do I turn this flashlight on? Oh. No, I'm not crouching. That's fine. Right. How do I turn the flashlight on? L? F? Doesn't work. Why does the flashlight not work? How do I use the flashlight? <laughs> I 
Maybe I have to go all the way down. <gasps> Sick. <laughs> Silly horse. Yeah, I don't like this. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Yeah, it's going to haunt me too, so don't worry about it. Maybe we should turn some of these on so that we at least know that the, that the light works. Where is the fuse box anyway? It's an antique, but in mint condition. It's That's a... What I no way, I thought... I thought... It doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. Probably. Where are the fuses? Hmm. I'm looking for the fuse box. Maybe it's in here. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Search the shed. Shed key. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Something is going to jump out at me when I go up the stairs. Or not. That's fine. I don't mind if they don't jump out at me. That's perfectly reasonable. Right. I believe the shed is that way. So, um... Yes. At least the shed key was in there. But I have a, re I have a feeling that... We might know who put the shed key in there. It probably was the same person who took the fuse out. The question is, how on earth do we get into the shed? We jump over? Nope. Is that even the shed? I don't think it would be that, would it? That looks like a shed to me. So, we might be able to go around. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're gonna we're not supposed to go up there either. I think I'm stuck. There we go. Just jump out of my way. There we go. That works. That's fine. Or if that's not the shed. Shed by the house. Might be on this side then. Well, this might be an escape route later, so uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep that in mind. <laughs> right. Trying to find a shed is very difficult for some reason. I'm assuming that is the shed, but I don't know how to get in there. Ah, there we go. Looks like this is an entrance. There we go, we've opened the shed door. Well, there's, there's footprints, so I'm not thinking this is such a good idea. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course there aren't any. What the f What? What is this? Where did all the blood come from? I have no idea. A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? I have no idea. It's an empty can. Hey! We managed to keep it upright. That was cool. That was in here. What's in here? 
Nothing. So that's completely useless. Just throw that away. Yep. So where would we find some fuses? Okay, so there's no fuses. Um, maybe we should go back to the house? I don't know. There should be a spare fuse in the shed somewhere. So that's what we are looking for. Maybe there's one over here. That looks like a fuse. It isn't. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Hmm. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust that the author knew what he was talking about. That's fine, I'm not gonna read that. Quantum localizer. The localizer can detect and analyze so called quantum traces which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun than another oddity from the eggheads in the CIA. Okay. What about this generator? This looks like something that can make power. Um. Where was this? Ah. Okay, so if I just stand up. Maybe we can... Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Um, Emma? Honey? Okay. It's bolted shut. Oh, I did the wrong one. Hmm. Something's not right. Maybe the local Find the quantum cloud. What's happened here? Wait, what did they say in training? Press X to equip the unequip and unequip the device. Localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Quantum cloud. This icon informs you that the cloud is near. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. Mm. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Okay. Find a quantum cloud using a localizer screen. The distance from the cloud is counted in the percentages in the green lines around the indica indicate, ind indicate the direction where the cloud is located. A short sound will inform you when the localizer finds the nearest cloud. We are coming, we're in the right place. Oh, this is cool. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. Okay. So we go this way. We're going the right way. And we're getting closer. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud. And to I need to scan it. Click right mouse button to release an impulse which temporarily reveals clouds and anomalies. Okay. Use a device to scan a cloud, hold left mouse button. Ooh. 
The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. Okay. So we are now going the right way again. In theory. The fuse is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. Yes. We're going the right way again, we're coming this way this time. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. Okay, there's something over here. Yeah, that's the thing. There we go. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is anomaly detected. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. But how? Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you'll have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surrounding. You can make it easier by using the right mouse button. So try it on, we hit it with an EMP charge fire from your device, then release to fire an EMP charge. The highlighted areas around the localizer screen indicate number of anomalies to be destroyed. Okay. So that must be an anomaly. Right, I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. Oh, okay. That's weird. I'll try to find more traces. What is that anyway? It's just a rope. With this, I can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. Okay. Which is interesting. Right, let's have a look for some more. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Well, let's have a look, shall we? This is actually quite cool. Actually, this is really amazing. This is actually pretty cool feature. I've never seen something like this in a video game before. At least not in a horror game. Okay. He, went up from here. he must have went up from there. Well, let's find out, shall we? There we go. Oh! That was close. Right. Oh, we have another thing. So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Hmm, that's very here, strange. It hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Trail leads through that gate? Wait, which gate? Oh, this gate. Find out. Wait, there it is. There it is. Clearly, drag something heavy through that gate. Okay. Find another way. Well, what I will do is I will actually be ending that there. I think because uh, we'll find another way in the next episode. Um, <clears throat> so we are looking for quantum clouds, I believe, which is quite interesting. I've never, I've never had that before in the horror game, which is really, really cool. So it's definitely something new, which I've never done before. But uh, we'll find out more about that in the next episode of The Beast Inside. Uh, we're going through this quite well. This is actually really cool. I'm really liking the, um, the the quantum localizer. And I'm quite concerned as to why Emma's being so passive-aggressive with us at the moment. So uh, we'll find that out as well, hopefully, later on in the series. However, that's about it from me for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Beast Inside. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope it did, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, it'll help me out a lot, and you'll get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page on Twitter and on Twitch, and as always, and as always, I will see you all in the next video, but until then, goodbye.